Oh, I guess we're live. Are we live? How do I share your live video, Ed? I don't know. Uh, I'm home. Where are you? Come on, where you don't Ed see me? Video? I don't see Ed's live video, and I'm a subscriber. Oh, really? I'm a subscriber. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Which side are you going on, Tom? I don't care. Okay. All right. Where are we? We're live now. Share video. I can share it, but I can't thumbs up it. Mm. Facebook. Hey, guys. No, I want to share it to a group on Facebook. I don't want to share it to my Facebook. Oh, yeah? Do you want to share it, Tom? How do I share? Oh, look at that. We got five thumbs up already. Everybody, hit that thumbs up. Smash that get button. It, get it. Are we giving stuff away? What should I, like, entitle this? We are giving stuff away. All right. We're also doing a Q&A. Uh, Remember, you said we are going to come yeah, on be good. a half that. hour early and answer some questions yeah. while we get people on here. That's doing a question and answer. I'm sure all you guys and know, but you need to like, five. subscribe, and share. We're going to get this channel huge. And do huge giveaways. Hey. Hello to everybody. You, go. you also got to smash that thumbs up button that's way up here. It's uh, there. Post. Thumbs up. Uh, Hot Stuff asks, what is the meaning of life? Serve your God. Serve your family. Serve your work community. Serve your... Uh, church community, and then serve your community community. That's all you need to do. Everything else will work itself out. Yep, we're going to get to 150,000. Oh, heck, hell, heck, whatever. Uh, I think we I think we got uh, 35,000 or something already. We've gone up 4,000 just in the last month. Uh Ed is doing a live Q&A and giving away. Does anything make my eyes water anymore? Everything. I my, Guys, there's nothing you can do about the physiological reactions to hot stuff. Uh, but, you know, I just got a really good poker face and I'm used to it. That's all. Uh What's my favorite sauce? Are we talking my own sauce or someone else's sauce? Knife order. Uh, we got people checking on you here. Yeah, who's that? It's come on in. <laughs> come on in. We're live on YouTube. That's what we. I knew you were. I knew you were doing live. I didn't... Happy belated birthday. Thank you very much, sir. How are you doing? Man? I'm all right. Good to see you. Doing okay. Oh. How are you doing? I like the piggy tail. <laughs> uh -huh. Guys, I got some business to discuss real quick. I'm going to let Tom take over. <laughs> oh, ask me questions about flat earth, man. <laughs> How are you guys? Doing all right, man. How are you? It's real good to see you. So basically, I read an article today on Newsbreak, and, and they were trying to tell me that NASA sent a laser beam transmission from like 18 million miles away or something. And my question is to NASA, how do you send a laser beam that doesn't curve to a rotating Earth and get a signal back from 18 million miles away? How do you do that? Now, if the Earth was flat, maybe. Maybe if the Earth was stationary... And not spinning in a ball, you know, maybe you could do that. I'm just saying, how did guidance laser missile systems that our military used, how do they adjust for the curvature of the Earth? You seen them radio transmissions? Like, that don't curve? And they've got them like 800 miles 
between points, but it don't doesn't curve. So how did the radio waves do that? I don't know. I also read something that we're losing time. This was a science article on Newsbreak today that we're losing time because the polar ice caps are melting and causing the earth to rotate differently. How do they figure this stuff out? I don't know. Uh, well, enough of that. What other conspiracies can we talk about? Certain lasers go through objects. Ooh, but how do you connect a laser here on Earth and a laser 18 million miles away when the Earth is spinning? Would it go through the Earth to the other side? You guys jumped into Tom taking over Ed's YouTube because he's got business to take care of. Yes, they say yes. Um, the Bible says the earth is round. Where in the Bible? The Bible talks about the firmament above and the firmament below. The Bible says that the earth is stationed on four pillars. I don't know, man. I don't know. Apollo pepper. What about the Apollo pepper? I think the Apollo pepper is round. And you prove that the earth is round with the boat experiment. So you're talking about the boats going at a distance, but when you put binoculars on them, they show up again. Can you invent a flat pepper? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe in another dimension where everything is two dimensional, maybe there's flat peppers there. Like, I don't know. You, you get into like quantum physics and Einstein and stuff. And like, maybe there's flat peppers out there in another dimension. Who knows? What's Smoking Ed's top five hottest hot sauces he sells? Um, I would say like we've got the extra hot reaper squeezins. We have the extra hot gator. We have the regular reaper squeezins. We got the regular gator. And then what would be the next hottest? Like, I don't know. Um, like sauces that we make and sauces that we sell, like the experience would be in there too. But like, we only sell that in store. We don't sell it online. 3D printing of a pepper. I've seen that 3D printing stuff. I think Garrett Peck has some of that 3D printing stuff. Tincture. Oh, yeah. Tincture. But tincture is not really a hot sauce. But, yeah, tincture is probably the hottest thing we sell. Hey, Peck's Peppers is on there. Garrett, I'm just talking about you. You do 3D print stuff. He also makes like grow lights, those, the ones that, the LED grow light. Garrett makes those too. It's pretty cool. So, you guys have any other questions for me? Chipotle Express. Yeah, Chipotle Express is pretty hot. It's kind of thin. It's not like, it's got some... Pepper X in it though. No, I didn't go to Albuquerque this year. The CEO Bill made an executive decision that I was staying home last minute because I ended up going to orthopedic urgent care. I've got my back is all messed up right now. I did get the results back from my MRI and pretty much like every disc that they scanned is bulged, but I'm going to the chiropractor and like, he thinks I'm going to be able to get better. But, yeah, like, like pretty much, like, every disc that they scanned is, like, bulged. Like, there's a little word up here that I don't really know. Like, disc, distation? I don't know. D-E-S-I-C-C-A-T-I-O-N and Heitloth. 
I think that means like, I don't know what that means, but the chiropractor said, that's what I got to worry about is whatever that word means, means that I've done some damage to some of my discs, but I've got degenerate disc disease. So I've had it since my early twenties. So I've been going through this my whole life. I do see a real doctor and the real doctors want to do like surgery on me. Like, so my grandmother had every one of her discs fused all the way up her back. She said, don't do the disc fusion. Like every couple of years, another disc would go out. I talked to my real doctor saying, Hey, if I did get the disc fusion, like, would it make my other disc go out? And they said, yeah, it would, but uh, the disc fusion will get you out of pain now. And so I don't really want to go the route of fusing my disc together. Like as long as, as long as I can like try another way, like, because my back did like for a few years, um, did pretty good. Like I was in a lot of pain in my early twenties and then, um, I was in, I, it's always there. I can always feel it, like what not to do. Like I always know it's there, but like, I mean, without the like shooting sciatic and burning and stuff, I had a few good years. So I'm going to try to get back to that point. Fusion is permanent. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to do fusion. Where's Bella? Bella's working at the store. One of our guys is out sick today and a lot of other employees. Some of us are taking, well, some employees took today off for Good Friday. Some employees took um, Monday off for Good Friday. So, and then one of our employees that normally works at the store on Fridays was sick. So Bella's at the store with Mike, do packing orders and selling sauce and stuff like that. Homer's trash can um, from the episode of The Simpsons. I don't. I don't know. I. I don't get regular TV, so I've missed like recent Simpsons. I know they're pretty good. I see them on TikTok. Um. Yeah, Simpsons predicted a lot of stuff. If you guys have heard one of my theories that Ed's a time traveler and he traveled back in, with Elon Musk and the creator of The Simpsons. Um. But that's that's one of my theories. I also think he might have like a underground lab underneath one of the greenhouses. Him and Elon had a falling out. Elon's on the West Coast. Ed's on the East Coast. Just trying to save the future of mankind with hot peppers and electric cars. But Elon got greedy, man. All about that money. Free electricity. That's what I'm saying. You guys heard about that guy that in the in the 90s created a water powered car and on like 20 gallons of water he could go from like LA to San Diego or something like that and then his last words his dying words were at a restaurant oh my god they poisoned me and his car disappeared from his personal garage like a week later yeah like, I got some crazy ideas, guys. Like, have you ever seen that perpetual motion stuff on TikTok where they, that in third world countries, they take the bicycle wheel and they put soda bottles on it and they spin it and then they can like power drills and they can power stuff. And it just goes around. The, I know there's no such thing as perpetual motion because that lasts forever indefinitely. But these, these wheels, like they spin, like the water in the bottles keep them going around. Think of doing that with 55 gallon drums and putting a generator on the back of your house. See ya, Edison. Like, yeah, but I'd end up dead, I'm sure. That's how it happens, man. You come up with an idea and then you're dead. You get close with the Clintons and then you die. You know, it's just how it happens. Like, you get close with the Clintons and then you start committing suicide. You know what I'm talking about? But. <laughs> I don't. I we're still giving away stuff, so don't leave if you guys think I'm crazy or whatever. You're right. Um, I'm just having fun with y'all. I watch a lot of I watch a lot of tickety talk conspiracy stuff. So, uh, yeah, Ed is doing something, and I don't really know what else to talk about. Generators that run on its own power. Well, the water would spin it and run the generator, but. Like when I was a kid, I used to play with magnets. My grandmother had like the earth magnets and stuff. 
and I used to like shoot magnets across the floor by their own power, you know, and like attract them and stuff. And I, and I thought about, I was like, like pistons on a motor. Like, why couldn't you have magnets doing that? Why couldn't you have magnets in your car doing that? Like a magnet powered car, not a battery powered car, a magnet powered car, but who knows? I don't want to end up dead. So, and I don't have the education for that stuff. Like I went to college, but it was to ditch classes and get loaded. <laughs> when my parents saw that I took my courses for, for no grades, like they decided that, um, yeah, that I should stop going to college. <laughs> but yeah, SpaceX, man, like Elon's trying to hammer a hammer one of them rockets through the firmament. You can watch them bounce off. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't know. Super strong magnets. The same, yeah. Super strong, like, earth magnets. How do we know how, like, if we've only drilled down, like, eight miles into the earth, like, how do we know that the inside of the earth is lava? Because of volcanoes? I don't know. Like, is the middle of the earth lava? What do you guys think? Lava? Peppers in outer space, yeah. If we ever make it to outer space again, we should send some peppers, you know? Like, they, they de NASA says they destroyed the technology that we had in the 50s to send people to the moon. And all the trajectory data is all gone. Um, and even if they had it, they don't have the machines to play it on now. They've got a lot of stuff. NASA's got a, a lot of stuff that they say they can't do anymore, but we were able to do it in the 50s. When we were in a race with... Soviet with the Soviet Union when we're trying like when we're trying to race them to the moon we made it like I'm just saying we were able to make it to the moon in the 50s but we can't make it to the moon again like but we have low earth orbit you know like like let's let's see about that like uh let's here let's google something real quick what is NASA's budget for 2024 Oh yeah. Can you see that? That's a big number. 24 billion, almost 25 billion. Like, I mean, we, they've got money. We're, we're giving them, that's our taxpayer dollars. We're giving them to NASA because we're in low earth orbit, but one day we're going to make it to the moon again. And when we do, we can play golf on the moon again. Oh, the eclipse. Well, you see like, the sun and the moon do orbit. They just don't orbit around the earth. They orbit like this. Woo. Remember I told you guys about this last time. Uh, this eclipse thing, man, like, like I was reading a whole bunch of articles on the eclipse and like that. They're like, oh, my goodness. Like, you know what? I think we're reverting back to caveman style. Like people are going to panic because the sun goes away. Oh, <gasps> like. We're, we're in 2024 and people are panicking because the the sun like goes black for a little bit. I don't know. I can understand the natural like declaring natural disasters and stuff in like Texas and other places are going to get to see the full eclipse because I was in um, Washington, D.C. when I was a kid. We went for Promise Keepers and there was like over a million men that showed up for Promise Keepers and we were all going to lock arms and pray over the white house we we're going to surround the white house and pray over it but the dc was not prepared for over a million guys to show up because the food ran out and national guard started like helicopter dropping food and water because it was like too much so i can understand like governors saying oh we're in a state of, of emergency because people are descending upon towns to see the eclipse and like they don't they're not prepared for it you know the towns don't have the water or the food but yeah like woodstock is tom like doing woodstock. a good job answering these things is he tesla versus edison like are we talking like old tesla like tesla that was going to give us free electricity or are we talking like new tesla like elon musk nikola tesla was 1000 percent more more intervention yeah. than edison yeah no like question. there's a reason our fbi confiscated all yes. his material that part. <laughs> because what would we do with free electricity guys what would we do like <laughs> like man like I don't know if you see it. like we always talk about 
So we, we don't care. We don't care. You guys care about free stuff and questions and answers from Ed. The Ed show, I know, but Ed is busy. He's busy. They're getting restless, Ed. Feed them cake. We're not supposed to give away anything till three thirty. Feed them cake, I say. If they don't have bread, feed them cake. If you want to give away something, just get started. Free stuff. Free stuff. Woo! A cup, really? We're gonna give away a cup, guys. We're just gonna pull one. I don't know what it is. Let's see. This is wing thing. Look at that, guys. Wing thing. It's a cup. It looks like a can, don't it? It's got the exact thing that our labels have on it, and it's made into a cup. And our buddy in Albuquerque, him and his wife made these for Ed. And these are like pretty much one of a kind at this point because we haven't started producing them. So who gets a wing, Pepper X wing thing cup? Look at that. That's cool. Right? And it even comes with one of those reusable straws so you don't kill any tortoises. (laughs) All right. All right. Close the eyes. Close the eyes. All right. If I push on your computer screen, is it going to do anything? This isn't one of those ones you can write on, right? Yeah. Am I close? No. No, I'm away. Over here. Let's write. Let's da, 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 da. Rod PM. Rod PM. Who cares about free electricity? Rod, if I would have known that, I wouldn't have picked you if I read your comment. But Rod PM. Rod PM. You win this cup i think i'm gonna write down your name but send a email to staff at pucker but pepper company.com and tell them that you won a wing thing cup rod p m wing thing cup almost done tom wing thing Those are all things I can spell. But, you know. All right. All right. Let's see. Any other questions? It's rigged. Life is rigged. No, life isn't rigged, man. I. Well. I'm a predestinist, so it's not like it's rigged, but it's in God's control and he knows everything that's going to happen and like it's all set up. So like you go through the stuff you go through to get to where God wants you to be. And that's how I look at it. Like my parents don't look at it like that way. They're like when I tried to explain to my parents like, hey, I was a heroin act, but that was in God's will. And if I wasn't a heroin act, I wouldn't be the person I was today and I wouldn't have found God. Like, they were like, whoa, no, 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 no. That's not how it works. You have free will. I say, show me in the Bible where it says we have free will. And, like, yeah. But anyway, there's a lot of scripture in the Bible that that supports free will. But there's a lot of scripture in the New Testament that says, you know, God chooses who he wants to choose and hardens the ones he doesn't. And, like, so who knows if it's rigged, but... God's in control, and the devil is real. Uh, so, but that's me. That's what I believe. Doesn't have to do. Charles Darwin is listening. Yeah, yeah, Charles Darwin. Like, who knows? Like, science. What is science? It's a bunch of like we say. Oh, James Hutton, uniformitarianism. We can tell the age of the layers because all the of the earth because of all the layers so if you find a dinosaur bone in a certain layer of sediment you can know how old the dinosaur bone is because of that sedimental layer but then we have carbon dating and you can because of the sunshine producing radioactive material and the plants absorbing that and then 
us eating the animals that eat the plants and us eating the plants and like you can carbon date something the amount the amount of radioactive in it um you can get a how how old it is but then you look at a snail that's still alive and it can be like a billion years old through carbon dating so there's there's flaws with with a lot of things in science a lot of things uh yeah like and hit that <laughs> like thumbs up hit that whatever button uh, i can't find it on my phone honest to god i cannot find it on my phone guys like i try every day i go to ed's live stream there's an ad for something and you guys talking but there is no like button i hit the live chat oh did i just figure out how to do it i think i might have just hit figured out how to, to like so yeah if you guys are having trouble like me what is this ad for am i watching someone cook instant dinner i wish i could cook instant dinner i go home and i cook for my family every night well not every night because tonight i'm ordering pizza you know it's good friday and i'm gonna order pizza thinking about that it got me to thinking today you know we celebrate easter we celebrate when Jesus died for our sins, we celebrate Christmas when Jesus was born, although he wasn't born in December, he was born closer to April. You know, we celebrate these things. Why don't we celebrate like pork day when when God made everything clean and everything we can eat everything? He said the animals are clean. You can eat it all. We should have like a pork day. Doesn't that make sense? Like I love pork. I didn't always love pork. Like I had this pig named Oni and we were raising these pigs as I was a kid and I didn't know any better at the time. I was like, oh, these pigs are our pets. And I made Oni necklaces so I knew which pig was my pig out of the herd of pigs. And then Slaughter Day came. And I mean, I was little and I was playing in the entrails, seeing how far they could really stretch. I'm all about that science, you know. They say that intestines is this long. So I'm out there stretching entrails. And it gets to the end of the night, and I'm like, where's Oni? And Oni was put into a pit wrapped in banana leaves and roasted. And I, the, just the smell of pork made me nauseous from, like, that point on until I was homeless. When I was homeless, I learned to eat everything, man. Like, And that that's how, how it is. Now bacon's delicious to me. But at the time, like, you know, it was it wasn't for me for a long time. I had that that in my that mental picture in my head of my pet pig being roasted. But I had pet rabbits. And my dad, we ate those. Like I, I grew up. My dad, like if, if if it wasn't a dog, most likely we were going to end up eating it. And I learned that as a kid. Like by the time I was in my teenage years, I knew that if we had a if we had a pet. It was going to end up being eaten. I had pet chickens. I even showed them at 4-H. I had one chicken named Cielo. She was a little banty chicken. And I taught her to come to me when I called her. And she would walk down this little thing. And I named her Cielo. That's the Chumash word for sky. Because she was kind of like a grayish blue color. And I loved that chicken. And yeah. I don't know why we we ate our chickens. I don't understand that either. But one day my dad got tired of listening to the rooster crow, I guess, and we ended up eating chickens. Yep, story time with Tom. Ask some questions. Ask some questions. I mean, I can go all day long. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty squirrely in the head. Like the stuff I think of during during our work days, you know, you know the Ed, the contract I signed to work here says that Ed owns all my intellectual property. He does. If I come up with it, he owns it. Like, would you ever consider writing a book about your life, Tom? No, 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 no. Why would I do that? I, I'm sure people have, like, as I've found being in, like, recovery, like, we all basically have the same story. Um, but... Is Pepperex jerky maybe soon? It sounds so good. We got the test. Am I supposed to cover up something? I think I'm supposed to cover up the part that says who's making it for us. But um, we got the samples in. I really like it. Ed likes it. I mean, I my first thought was let's make it hotter. But 
Ed was like, dude, it, it's pretty warm and we're trying to sell a lot of it. So yeah, the pepper X jerky is going to stay like, I think this heat, we might do like a special super hot version. I don't know. Um, Ed considered ever consider doing stand up comedy? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm good. Like I'm good. Like I had an interview with with um, this company that that may or may not be doing some stuff. I had to sign like a non disclosure, but I killed it, man. I killed it. Like they were they were like ha just had me like talk to them for a while in some big like company, and I killed it. Like I said, I even asked them like I was the best interview you did, right? And they're like, yeah, by far, Tom, you're the best interview that we did. And I, I just told him about some of my ideas, man. Like I'm, I'm trying to steer pucker butt in a new direction. Like farm and peppers is great, but being back here in this powder room and grinding those peppers and getting it all over me and like burning day and night. Like I go home and my wife makes me take my clothes off at like the front door. Like, and I like, man, like, it's cool and all like, but we can steer this company in some other directions too. You know, like I got these ideas, man. I got them down here on my phone. I don't know if I can show you guys. Like every time I come with up with an idea at work, I put it in my little notes over here. And some of them, I got them, I've got them, whoop, whoop. I've got them in billion dollar ideas, million dollar ideas and company ideas. I had this great idea for this game. It was going to be called hold my beer. It was going to be a dice game, you know, and you roll the dice, you pick it, the, you pull a challenge card and the challenge would be like, jump over your double wide with your dirt bike and you roll the dice. If you hit like a six, like you make the jump and you get the point. If you hit like a one, then you crash and burn or go fishing with dynamite and you have to roll the dice. And if you, you know, like every card would say roll a six and you get like three chances or roll a five or something like that. Wouldn't that be a fucking cool game? It'd be an awesome game. But you know what? I looked, I looked up and somebody already has a hold my beer game. Somebody already stole my hold my beer game. I have this idea about this other game. It's going to be called Oh No Tornado. And you've got a little trailer park on one of them boards that shakes, you know, like you got a little trailer park. And you have to remove your trailers from the trailer park before, oh, no, tornado. And then the board, board pops and all the trailers go everywhere. That's an awesome game. But there's already a game called Tornado that I didn't even know about that was made in the 90s. They don't even sell it anymore. But, like, those are the things I think about, man. I come up with these ideas. Like, I'm like, we can make millions off of other things. And then we could just breed peppers and, like, not have to do all the hard work. <laughs> I love what I do. But like, it, yeah, those are the things that go through my head like constantly. Like I, I'm always making money up here. Just gotta, just gotta get it, get Ed on board with some of this stuff, you know. And we gotta like tr hold my beers already trademarked, and it's already a game. Like, but it's not my game. My game was cool. Their game is stupid. Um, get lemurs off of drugs is one of my classic ones. You know, lemurs are down there. Um, where Charles Darwin went, you know, wherever the equator and these lemurs are on these little islands and they're, they're, they're busting into millipedes and they're getting high off of them, man. And like, I'm saying these lemurs shouldn't be getting high. We take, we do a nonprofit little lemur rehabs, they're cages, but we'll call them little lemur rehabs and we'll put the lemurs in the cage, the rehabs ah. and we'll <laughs> detox them from the millipedes. These are like, yeah, Madagascar. There you go. Madagascar, man. Lemurs are on drugs in Madagascar. And I've got the ideas to take pucker butt in the best direction possible. Isn't that right? Ed? That is right. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. Tom, we lost 50 viewers. Did we lose 50 viewers? We lost 50 People viewers. People were saying I'm out of here. But like, <laughs> Did they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys stayed because guess what? We're going to start giving stuff away. <laughs> and I apologize for that, but uh, that's one of my attorneys. And we had some paperwork to go over. And uh, it was very important because... I'm going out of town for a couple days. I'm going to take my family away and just be with family for the Easter weekend. Mm. 
<laughs> I'm glad you guys had fun. Too bad for the people who left. They don't know what they're missing. Tom, you should have given stuff away. I gave something away. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Hey, let's pull that box forward, please. All right. Because I don't want to get up again, honestly. Uh, like you ought to give away extra stuff to make. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give away extra stuff. That. Hey, we got 49 people. Uh, I'm <laughs> gonna give away 24 items at least, and then with yours, we gave away over half. Over half. The people on here are gonna win something. <laughs> Does Tom pay you to work? <laughs> Does Tom pay me to work? <laughs> to have a job. Oh, uh, I don't get paid, guys. If we have any extra money, I invest in the company. Uh, and that's going on 21 years now. Actually, 21 years this month. 21 years I've been doing this without a paycheck. Uh, they're still talking about the lemur rehab, Tom. All right, so we got to do this quick because I got a meeting with Linda at 5. And I get back to live chat. Yeah, I'm gonna. There I am. You guys know to smash the thumbs up button. You know that I you need to like, like, subscribe, and share, and uh, uh, invite all your friends. And I might do some live streams over the weekend. I'll have stuff giveaway maybe, uh, and we'll just I see how it goes. Tall, Happy Easter, peppers. everybody! Happy Good Friday. Uh, I am just, this is, you know, Christmas is awesome, uh, but this means the most to me this weekend uh, because I'm forgiven. All I got to do is ask, you know. Uh, yeah, I know Tom needs to save the lemurs. I know he needs a shirt. We'll work on that. Let's give some stuff away, Tom. All right. First one is... Mild Moroccan hot sauce. Moroccan. Moroccan. And who who won already? Rod PM? Okay. Because that's the first name I saw. Uh, so, Jay Diesel, you got that. And I'm writing this down, so that's why I'm taking a break. They asked about five-gallon pots. Five-gallon pots work Five gallon pots work, seven work. Yeah, don't don't forget, go any lower. Yeah, don't forget to give them nutrients. Pepper X mustard dill. Mermaid munchers here from you, Tom. They just want Pepper X mustard dill. <laughs> Maggot vomit. That is funny. Have you, somebody here in town put a get well balloon. On a dead deer on the side of the road. That is hilarious. I didn't know that. Somebody put a, a Easter basket next to a dead bunny. Maggot. Next one is the hot Brazilian berry with Pepper X. Woohoo. Uh oh, it's starting to go fast. Now I got way, I, the chat. Texas down, Tim. Behind on the video. Tom, are you going to be able to read off names, or, or are you going to have a hard time? You can, you can do it. British Brown with Pepper X. It says mild, but it is not. So then why don't you read off the, the labels? The labels. I can do that. And what I'm doing is flipping them. So. All right. Did you pick someone to win that one already? Eric Mahala. What's next, Tom? Brazilian passion fruit. Brazilian and passion fruit. Yeah, congratulations to the winners. Send an email. You know how it goes. I'm surprised Heather's not on here. She's working. She's working. Woo woo. Uh. Uh oh. 
Ace Moro. I wonder if that's Jim. Pickles? Yeah. What's the next one, Tom? Churry, churry. Churry, churry. It's like a curry, curry, churry. churry. It's like churry, churry, but curry. Yeah. But curry. And churry. hot. Yeah, not like curry, like the spice, like curry, like egg. Wilco Inferno. Whoop, whoop. You just won. Are we getting more viewers now? <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> They're coming back. They took a break. Yeah, they took a break <laughs> from your nonsense, Tom. Oh, this one's good. Ed don't really care, but I like it a lot. What? Tahini. Uh, Look at that. Look at that, man. It's got lime. It's got, oh, it's good. It's he good. thinks I like it, tahini. Yeah. Hot stuff. Thinks it's terrible. So you win one, too, because it's Why actually would you not. you give someone that doesn't like it? Like. Because I didn't read their comment when I. <laughs> well. Smash that thumbs up button, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. And, uh. You know what this sauce made me go out and do? What? Find frozen dumplings to make at home. What's that and sauce? And the wife and kid love them. What's that? The dumpling sauce. Oh, dumpling. It's amazing, guys. It's oh. really, really good. On egg rolls, dumplings, like, it's really good. Hmm. And it's mild, something the whole family can enjoy. Yeah. Oh, it's going real... Benny Blanco. You just won. Oh, I was going to do something this weekend, but my niece doesn't like crab, so we're not doing a crab boil. But this one's East Coast Seafood with Pepper X. Oh, guess what? That has won like five awards. Yep. It says crab boil all over it, man. Delicious. It's delicious on everything. Yeah. I liked it on tacos the best. Oh, man, my favorite one. My favorite of the new sauces. Wait a minute. I got to give this one oh. away. It's going really fast. Oh, who did I say was going to win today? Dakota Gunnerson. Now we're up to 72 people. Wow, you guys, I'm almost offended. <laughs> You just won the seafood <laughs> sauce. Does anybody remember who I said would win no matter what next time? I don't. And don't say me if it wasn't you. I'm asking for one of the people who's normally here if they remember. I'll have to go back and look. What's that one, Tom? This one's my favorite of the new sauces. What's that? Wing thing. Wing Is that a thing. hot or a mild? This is a mild one. So everyone can enjoy it. It's really good. Oh, let's see. Let's pick someone. You, have the, oh, you don't have every. X my pants just asked if Go Jackets there. I've been trying to catch either a shiny uh, squid thing or a shiny. Uh, what's the other guy? Scraggy. Scraggy. But guess what? Mm. Haven't seen either. People who have stopped by have caught them. I know. Did I really talk that long? We've been on for 43 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Farts and crafts. She won the ring thing. We haven't called your name in a while. Happy Easter to everybody. What's the next one? Tamarind mint mango. Oh, I love that one. Tamarind mint mango. It's exactly like it sounds. You know what? What? I'm going to let Will win that one. Awesome. What else? Dun, 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 my wife's favorite sauce. What's that? Mild taco sauce. Oh, Linda loves that one, too. Yeah. We won for the the hot version. 
Yeah, we won a prize for the hot version. All right, that case is done. Where's the next case? Woo! Let's get this ball rolling. Woo! Woo! Can I grab more? Yeah, well, you can either grab it from there or over there, whichever whichever way. I got to give away this mild wing. Oh, man. Someone said Scooby Snacks. We got a sale going on right now. If you guys didn't know. I'm going to get to that, man. Well, whoever had I mean, Scooby Snacks in their name, you just won. This is what I wanted to give away, Ed. Uh. Oh, okay. This is a good time to say about our sale. All right. Well, uh. We're having a sale right now. You buy three, you get a bottle of the spice of your choosing for free. How's that? Well, uh, we've got a whole variety of And we've got a I, variety of seasonings. I so Steak, chicken, seafood. Um, Mike tried to say this was out of date. Creo. But we made it last year. Yeah, I, I don't think it's out of so date. So it's, it, it's still got another year to go. Because we're only allowed to put two years on spices. Is this really hot? Yeah, that's hot. That's the one with. Is that's it? the original one where I I controlled the amount of Pepper X in it. Mm. It's Pepper X mm. what? Steak, Steak seasoning. seasoning. So let's give away twelve of those real quick. Uh, do I have twelve? I've got seven here. Oh, seven of them. Well, no, hold on. Hold we'll on. give away hold these on. seven, Tom. I'm getting excited. So we got that sale going on. Wait a minute. I wanted you guys to be the first to know. Guess what? What? Smoking Racha and Reaper Racha are now back in stock. All of you limited have been asking. Time limited time only. All of you people who have been asking, we brought it back. So, Ed, I and. You could buy three bottles and get a free yeah. thing of spice. I could buy Reaper Racha, Smoking Racha, one of the new Pepper X sauces, and get a free spice? Grilling season What? Up. What? Awesome. Awesome. Happy Good Friday, 1040 TV. You just want a spice. You think I was actually really that offensive that we lost all those viewers? Yeah, Tom, back? you must have been because <laughs> there were like 90 when I left and there were only 42 when I got back. <laughs> Broussard, you just won. You guys realize I'm crazy, right? <laughs> like, don't take it to heart. Knife order, you just won. Bella on? I think Bella's on. Everyone's saying, hey, Bella. Hey, Bella. Hey, Bella. He is risen. He is John risen. Woodall, you just won. <coughs> How many is that, Ed? How many have you gotten? James you Cross, you just won. Oh, Heather must be there because it's pinned at the top of the page. Yeah. <laughs> Tesla, you just won. I couldn't read the rest. Is that Elon? I told Elon he's not allowed on your channel, Ed. Yeah. I know you did, Tom. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> I can't wait. What if I go after Elon for using my trademark? Ooh. <laughs> I don't want to fight that battle. Uh we got to pick one more person. Thank you, Adrian, but I already gave Eric one. Uh, wow, they're going by some fast. I'm having trouble just picking know, a mine's, name. Mine's going by even faster than yours. I think I'm lagging. Mm. Joe Black, you just won. All right, guys, if you won. What you need to do is look at the top of the page. There's the instructions for. Uh, this one that says wieners. Yeah, it wieners, says winners. Wieners. Pitt, go grab another case of something, Tom. Should we do one of the old ones or should we do one of the new ones? We're going to give away some more stuff because I'm the boss. And that's just it. 
and I don't have to be home until five o'clock, so we got a little bit more time. Hello to everybody. Uh, if you want, please send an email to staff at puggerbuttpeppercompany.com. Uh, you need to smash that thumbs up button up at the top, the one that's right up there. You need to uh, like, subscribe, and share. And invite all your friends, invite all your family. We're going to get... It's got a C on it. That would mean chicken, Tom. I hope so. They're not labeled. They're not labeled? They're yeah, not labeled. that's chicken. Chicken with Pepper X. Oh, Rob Norton, I had said Chicken. you were going to win. So you're the first one. You got oh, 12 of these. You're the first one to get a chicken. But I was going to mix some. You want to mix some sauces in there, too? No, hold on. I want a cup, Tom. Pick another cup. Pick a cup. Yeah. Random cup drawing. Random cup drawing. Oh, and the hoodies are online. I don't know why people are having trouble finding them. I found them right away. Slavic plum. plum. Pepper X sauce. Ooh. Ooh. That's kind of a cool label. My wife would have liked that label, I think. Little purple pink. Did you pick one for her? No. All right, she, give that to her. No, no, no. She, she's got a bunch of your other cups. Does she? Yeah. And I have Maeve Larson. <laughs> I don't want to hand wash more cups. You just want a cup. What about the straw, Tom? Oh yeah, the straw. So Save this chi tortoise. this chicken X is really really hot, guys. Uh, we milded it. We <laughs> we we made it better because no one could eat this one. Well, some of us could eat it, but not very many people could eat it. Uh, I've been fasting all day long. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I think I'm gonna get some nice seafood for dinner. Uh, after the sun goes down. Uh, but yeah, invite your friends and family to come on the page. Tell them we give away stuff. We also have informative stuff. Uh, we're going to start, when I come back, we're going to start, we're going to plant some seeds for my something for me. And uh, also, we're going to go through the greenhouses and start the process for the greenhouse videos uh we're gonna have someone from charlotte who's part of the team is coming down to film everything so that we you can hear us and you can see us and we can tell you what's going on Tom, yeah professionals tom did you take a uh, picture of the greenhouse today i did I, well i took a picture of which greenhouse are you talking about so we got another we got our third greenhouse is completely up potted so can they see? Woo. Yeah, so look at that. That so, one's completely up potted. We also have. Yeah, there's going to be Pepper X stickers coming out soon. This one, you can see the little grow lights I hung up in there. That one's completely up potted. Yeah. And that one's completely up potted. Too much water, Eric. Too much water. And then we have another greenhouse that we started. Also, we have to seeds. use the peat. That happens. Uh,. All right, so we got 11 more of these to give away. Goody, I've never seen that name. You just won. Goody. Maggot Vomit, you just won. Jonathan Hartman, you just won. Abigail Pierce. Jokin Ted Curry. What is the best habanero to grow in a personal garden, Ed? Well, I personally like the chocolate scotch bonnets, but apparently we're out online, so I got to bring some more seeds to the store. That won't be till next week. I like those little white jelly bean habaneros, but... Yeah, they're good, the Peruvian they're, one, but oh, they're, you have they're a pain in the ass to pick. Like, the plants are loaded, and you sit there for hours picking a plant. Yeah. 
but they're really good peppers. They're tasty peppers, yeah. too. Uh, the best red habanero, as far as I'm concerned, is the St. Kitts. How many pounds of chilies do we harvest in the year? <laughs> it's in the six figures, guys, of, of different types. <laughs> Okay, it's a lot of chilies. Uh, yeah, way too many Mars Sands and you just won. Actually, I don't think there's possibly a way uh, to have too much chili. Mm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, people have no idea how big things actually are. Air Force veteran, you just won. I hope they don't call you back. I heard, I read today that they were calling back retirees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got four more of these to give away. Haha. <laughs> Shane O'Connell, Shane O'Connell, you think this is, you think this is chaos? Wait till we have 150,000 real subscribers, not paid for, real subscribers. We're going to be going crazy. But I did figure out a way to randomly stop the stream uh, so that I could pick good people uh if you're new to the stream also we do not put up with drama here so please don't get into it uh brisket x would be a winner mm. bobo haloga you just won Two more. Rick Flair's hair. What? His name is Rick Flair's hair. <laughs> I love that. Uh, and, I, and I haven't I haven't picked them in a while. Uh mm -hmm. Phil's on fire. Oh, we're back down to 68. I can't believe we're down to 68 when we're giving stuff away. Well, it is Good Friday, Ed. Yeah, I know. And it is church time. <laughs> uh, should we give away another case of sauce, Tom? You want, I see you eyeing these ones over here. Well, we don't have to do those ones. Go grab a case of something else. Go, go, nope. go. No. Nope. You do, you do, you, Tom. I'm letting you pick today. All right, guys, know this. These things are not going to get to the store until Monday at the earliest. So they won't go out until Tuesday next week. So you'll get them around next Friday when we're doing another giveaway. One of my uh, favorites. I should have mixed them up. Why don't you grab three from that one, three from another one? You got an empty case? Yep. Okie doke. Well, while Tom's getting that, I'm going to remind you to smash that uh, thumbs up button. You can hit this one down here. Apparently, it does something. I don't know what it is. Look. Woo. I like these party hat things. Might be a taco. I don't know. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Invite your family and friends. Let's get this thing going. Uh, we've, we've already gone up like 4,000 viewers in the last like month or so. Uh, at that rate, it's going to take us a couple years to get up there. Uh, but 
I think we can get that ball rolling and all have a real good time. All have a real good time. Uh, and the more people I have, the more I'm going to give away. Because I'm the boss and I can do that. And also, if you didn't know, every single dollar, whether it's ad revenue, whether it's stuff you guys donate, whether we, we auction off stuff online, every single dollar is going to go to the Brooklyn Angels that help feed the homeless, the indigent, and the shut-ins all around uh, the city of Brooklyn. Right. Uh, they do a really good job. They don't keep any of the money. And all of it goes to feed people. Oh, you should probably, Tom. Like I know my keep, mine keeps on going dead today too. Is it? Does that have something to do maybe with the solar eclipse? upcoming solar eclipse? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because I haven't plugged it in. Don't be scared. Okay. All right. Yeah, Dread Power. Pirate Roberts, Bella is here, and you're the first winner. So, what did they win? Pineapple teriyaki mild, something the whole family can enjoy. Awesome. Pineapple teriyaki mild, white label. Mm -hmm. What's the next one, Tom, so I can write it down? Pepper X hot. Mustard passion. Mustard passion. Really good on corn dogs. You want to hear something funny, guys? Mm -hmm. We're getting ready. Why? Wow, I have something on my lip. Oh, it's coffee. <laughs> uh, we're getting ready to take a little trip as a family. My wife has called me so many times I can't even count today. Asking me questions that she already has the answer to. She just wants my opinion so she can tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Marco, 129, you just won. So did Chili Dog. Mild shawarma to Chili Dog. Shawarma. Just fun to say. Shawarma. It is fun to say. And I like the flavor. It's a really good one. Uh, what's the next one, Tom? Mild Thai coconut. Mild Thai coconut. Look at that. Beautiful. And just so you know, guys... We got in the regular labels, so I'm going to be giving away everything that's still white labeled. The white labels are legal. The sauce was made within the last month or so, or maybe two months, or Christmas time, somewhere around there. This one's made at Christmas. Yeah. Well. So everything's good, nothing's bad, and you're getting it all. You put the lime in the coconut. Did, I don't think we used lime, did we? I don't know. I'm, I'm, Pineapple juice. I'm teasing. <laughs> it's a song, Tom. I you know. put the lime in the coconut. Uh, so what's the next one? Oh, we didn't give we didn't away give the mild away. tie. No, you didn't give it away. Uh, yeah, congratulations to everybody who won. Like, subscribe, and share. Smash the thumbs up. Hit this little button. All the different things I'm reading. Ooh, 100%. Uh Andrew head. Pie. Andrew Pie. It's not working today. Oh, there it goes. If you happen to have a YouTube channel, let's cry, let's work together. Okay. I'll promote your channel. You promote my channel. We'll get each other going over to the other one. Good stuff is always good stuff. Uh Hmm. Mild pineapple teriyaki. Again? Yeah. There's three of each. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Lavina three eight one nine three. Lavina. Hot mustard passion fruit. Talk to them while I'm writing these down. They don't want me to talk to them, Ed. They they leave when I talk to them. Why, Tom? Because I say crazy stuff, I guess, Ed. Like, I don't know. I, I warned them not to be friends with the Clintons or they might commit suicide. Maybe that offended some people. I don't know. You didn't do that, <laughs> did, did you? <laughs> All right, so I wrote down all the sauces to make this a little easier. Okay. And I'm battling a Team Rocket grunt as we speak. Uh, and I love you guys. And thanks for smashing that thumbs up button. I think we've got more thumbs up than we've got people now. Well, that's because people <laughs> left because of your nonsense. <laughs> uh, and I hope everybody has a happy Easter. What are people going to make for Easter dinner? Even if you don't celebrate Easter, you know, because everybody's got the right to their own God. Uh, but what are you going to make? I don't even want to think about how can we cook. I'm burnt out. I don't know mm. what to cook my family anymore. I'm well, you know, burnt out. one of the things we always had growing up, my parents got what was called a fresh ham. So it was the ham, but it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't pink. It was the regular color of pork. And it was delicious. And she would make all sorts of really good stuff with it. But I preferred the sauerkraut with it. I like country ham. Yeah, country, country ham. Country ham and biscuits with some grits. Tom. What? There's enough salt in one slice of country That's ham to last you. That's why you got the grits and the biscuit. Ed. That's enough to last you for three weeks. No. Okay. You're not supposed to eat salt again for three weeks afterwards. It's delicious. <laughs> On a yeah, it looks like ham grits. and pork shoulder. Jalapeno poppers. That sounds good. I wish we had some jalapenos. All poppers. right. The next one is the hot mustard passion. Hot mustard passion. Persevere. You're the only one who's telling the truth. You're going to eat chocolate. What was the truth? <laughs> going to eat chocolate. <laughs> I bought myself some Reese's eggs today, even though I'm not supposed to eat candy. Mm. Shawarma. Shawarma. Oh, Amir, that sounds delicious. Ne great next, one is, next one is shawarma. Fish sticks. Who eats fish sticks? My wife eats fish sticks. No, for Easter dinner? Maybe this year. I don't want to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua Aniris. Shawarma. Back to Thai Coconut Mile. Mm. Tater tots. My daughter loves tater tots. She could eat a whole bag if I'd let her. Brett had a dog named Tater. John Horton, you just won. Pineapple teriyaki I think, mild. I think I'm going to have, uh, I think I'm going to have uh, pizza tonight. But I wanted fish, but no one else in my house will eat it. And I got some really good striped bass in the freezer. Eats, Easter pizza rolls. Ah. Sweet potatoes are good. Mm. Sweet tater pie. I love sweet potato pie. Mm. So many delicacies here in the South that I didn't have in California. Michael Levine, you just won. Pepper X mustard passion fruit. 
I hope you're not the Michael Levine that talks trash about me on Facebook. If you are, you just won anyway. <laughs> you just won. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but he owes me money, too. <laughs> Venison stew. Scotch sonnet. You just won. Mustard passion fruit. All right. Up next. Shawarma again. Shawarma. I picked you Scotch Sonnet because Linda is trying to get me to send her over to Scotland to visit uh, GFT and go see Highlander and eat haggis? getting filmed. No, she won't eat haggis, but she might get her a little Jamie. You know? <laughs> Twin Boss, she just won. Last one. No. No. It might not be the last one. Might not. No. You never know. Never know. Mild high coconut. All you'd have to do is throw some chicken in this and it would be. Any plans curry. for jerk sauce? Yeah, I've been selling it. It's delicious. We have jerk sauce. We've had jerk sauce for a good eight months now it's a great pepper x jerk sauce and a, there's a mild one too uh Have we made it yeah. i thought we made the mild. i don't know if we made a mild. i thought, I thought we, we made the mild. maybe i don't know i can't yeah. remember we got Could've so been. many new sauces yeah the jerk sauce is delicious and it's won a bunch of awards morbid angel you just won all right, that's it for this box. Everybody, smash that thumbs up button. Thumbs like, up. like, subscribe, thumbs and share. Up. Thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up. Thank you, Nick. Do, do all good things. Good things. Uh, uh, so, like I said, I'm going to go out of town for a couple of days, uh, but I'll probably go live. And uh, I might be meeting up with someone. Uh, to do a review down down where I'm going, uh, but that'll be on Sunday, Monday at the latest. Uh, we're going to try something different on Tuesday, uh, and I think I figured out how to do a split screen, so me and Tom can both go live at the same am time. I, am I in charge of the business while you're gone, Ed? No. <laughs> No, I'm still in charge, Tom. <laughs> Any questions, call me. Okay. Uh, uh, what else was there? Uh, oh, Lawn Dog. I'm sorry you're late again. But I love you anyway. Uh, let's see. I had to remember to do something uh, before uh, before I leave. But yeah, it's about loving yourself, but not only loving yourself. Yeah. Mm. Have I ever eaten Dave's Hot Chicken? Never heard of it. Dave's Hot Chicken? Yeah. Have you heard of it, I, Tom? I think I've heard of it. That, or I could be thinking of the Dave guy that made hot chicken that owns Pergesa. Wasn't his name Dave? Yeah, <laughs> it was, Tom. <laughs> You're so funny. Uh... The extra hot gator goes cheaper than $25 all the time. Just so you know, on those extra hot sauces, 100% of the money. If you purchase it for $25, $25 goes to the charity that goes along with that bottle. Uh, it, is not, it is not for making money. It's for raising money. Uh, but Charlotte Rescue Mission was one. Hook the line and heroes, line heroes was one, and Brooklyn Angels Brooklyn is another Angels, yeah. for this year. Uh, 
Guys, I love you. God bless y'all. Rod PM, you already won something. You won first. Yeah. Be kind to one another. Be grateful for the things you have. Help out neighbors. Help out friends. Help out your family. Maybe be a little nicer to your family this weekend. I know that's hard sometimes. I'm trying, I've got a bet going with my daughter to see if she can do it. Uh, hold on. Hey, Bill. Hey, what's up, man? I'm signing off on YouTube. I'm, I'm letting you join me. Oh, okay. Have a happy Easter. Yeah, you too, man. No, I'm talking to the people on YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, tell them that's uh, Ed, Bill says so also. All right, I'll and, you no, no, again. I'll call you right back. Bye-bye. Okay. You know, most of all, you know, think about the sacrifices others have made for you. And what can you sacrifice for someone else? Whether it's just a moment of your time, you know? Uh, nope. Linda, Bill, all the people on the executive team quack like a duck. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And remember, like, subscribe, and share. And send that email if you want your winnings. If you don't send the email within a week, I might give it away again. Uh, have a great weekend, guys. Be safe. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. Peace.